Carol Lagasse has been on this show for 14 years. Good morning, America, sir. Yeah, it's about 14, Sam. All right, and we're, we're doing Throwback Thursday. You have yeah. some, a picture you want to show us? Yeah, let's, let's, let's check it out. Oh, How about that? No way. Yes, I can totally see it in the face. I can totally see it. What what is up? What's up with the hair? What year is this? Well, you know, it was you know, it, it was just right after a little shower. You yeah, know, so it just poofed up a little, little, up a little just bit. Like, yeah. Do you still you want it? You want it that look back? Oh yeah. You, you miss those it's coming days? Back. It's coming back, Sam. <laughs> I never thought food would be retro, but truly, when I hear these things you've got for us, like Salisbury steak, I haven't heard of it in years. Salisbury steak with mushroom gravy. And I loved it. And roasted garlic mashed potatoes. And I'm coming with the gravy. What happened to the banana splits? What happened to baked bologna? Exactly, bologna sandwiches. Baked bologna. All right, so let's get to the Salisbury right, steak. So What's look, in the ingredients? First of all, we rendered some bacon, and then when we all take right. the bacon out, we're gonna put some onion. You wanna let that cool, because we're gonna puree that. All right. With a little bit of the drippings, we're gonna saute just regular button mushrooms. You can use any kind of fancy mushrooms. All right. We're gonna add shallot, garlic, we're gonna add some thyme, some rosemary. Then we're gonna make a little slurry, which is with flour, Red wine, and then we're going to add a little bit of cream, and this is oh, where we are right don't here. Don't forget the red wine. So, with that, we're going to add some beef stock right. to that, and this is the mushroom gravy. So you just keep this simmering like that until we're ready. What's in the Salisbury steak? It's just like making meatballs. Okay. Equal parts of beef, veal, and pork. All right. Or you could just do regular pork. I can't wait. What for happens this. now is the bacon onion mixture we puree in the food processor that goes in. A couple of egg yolks, mustard, salt, pepper, This is cream. so much better than breadcrumbs. That, oh, that, yeah. that is... That's exactly right, okay? And today, in today's time, a lot of people with celiac disease and just, you know, the whole gluten thing, right. which is coming on strong, this is a perfect way to bind your Salisbury meatballs. Salisbury steak that. is your thing. Shape them up into a patty, yep. and then you can broil them or bake them in the oven. Now, uh, watch this. All right. So now what we're going to do... Pardon me, Elizabeth. I'm coming right here. Oh, Look at oh, thank you. Yeah. We're going to come here. We're gonna come here. Emerald, I didn't know Salisbury steak was actually veal. Well, it could be. It could be all beef, too. Okay. Now, why is it that some recipes seem to kind of be targeted to a certain time? Like, like grasshopper this. pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like pigs in a blanket. Right, like yeah. Swedish why meatballs. Is it? Why is it? Now, one of my favorite is, is you score a piece of bologna mm -hmm. and you rub it with mustard and then coat it with brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And you bake that in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then you can see what it looks like right there, and you slice it very, very thin. I don't know if you guys had a chance to taste that. It is so good because, right? So good because you have the you have a little bit of the uh, the sweetness from the uh, from you know from the brown sugar. You right. can use honey, and then that regular just yellow mustard. Good old yellow mustard, and, and then, then our final retro banana split. Oh, banana yes. split. I mean, what happened to them? Isn't that unbelievable? That is so good. It's, I miss bologna sandwiches. No, no, no. Especially How if did they go away. You bake them like that, really slow. Mm. It's great, and you know you can get the uh, recipes uh, on GoodMorningAmerica.com on Yahoo. And get the recipes. Yummy. What about what about your throwbacks? Do you have I, any? I feel like my mom always used to make like tuna casserole. Tuna casserole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With tuna potato casserole. chips right. on top? Broccoli yes. casserole. With the right. potato chips. Absolutely. I like the Mexican that. casserole. My mom made a Mexican Ooh. casserole with um, cheese yeah. and sort of like spicy salsa on top and melted cheese yeah. and chicken and All yummy. Right. Emerald, you're the best. Cornish. Always the best. Us. Yeah, we have it. Thank Love you, these Emerald. recipes. As, you, as we said, you can get them on goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo.